Hello everyone, really quick, I was just doing a previous video on how to add a gallery module to your website and I saw um, that a lot of the photos that one of our awesome clients, Orvis Nieves of FamousForTheFuture.org, um, he had uploaded a lot of photos of one of his latest and greatest missionary trips, but the module's loading super slow, the website was loading super slow, and a lot have asked in the future, Grant, why is my website loading slow? And so I looked, and really quick, I want to show you a few quick things that you absolutely need to do. And um, we tell everyone this, and we've done a previous video on this, but I wanted to repercolate this for those who haven't seen that. Log into your website. How do you know your photos are too big? Log into your website, um, and then go to your media page or your library, and it'll load the library. If it's going slow at all, uh, that could be an issue. Go into one of your images, or click it, and you'll see a nice big image, five megabytes and 3,700 pixels wide. The average screen that someone visits on a laptop or a desktop is only about 1,100 pixels wide. And the average photo should be less than 300 kilobytes. So literally smaller than one-tenth the size of this image. So how do you optimize these images so that they're smaller before you upload them? Um, so this is, you know, you guys ask us a lot of times, can't you just do it for me? Sure, we can do it for you. But I also want you to know, because if we do it for you, it costs you a little bit because it takes some time. So very quickly, I'm going to go through a few quick steps so that and show you how to go ahead and optimize your images um, through a free service called GIMP or some online services as well. So real quick, the first thing you want to do is grab your image. If you don't have it already, right click your image. So I'm just right clicking on my mouse or on your touchpad on your laptop, right click and select save image as, and it will simply download the image. And then we want to title it something that makes sense. These, these titles that you guys have are no good for you in the future. It's impossible for you to navigate or if you give it to a web designer like us, it's impossible for us to know anything about this image. So instead, um, I'm making this up, so this is hypothetical. So let's say mission trip, uh, let's say uh, San Salvador. I don't even know if that's accurate. And then say couple ministry 001. That's way more useful if you tell us a little bit about what's going on if you have a couples ministry that you're working through. So now that I've downloaded this, the first way um, to optimize this is just to um, have a, an app. I have an app here called GIMP. It's a free uh, piece of software. When I click the image, it, um, it will actually open in GIMP like that. And it's telling me a lot of information, but all I need to do is go to image, scale image, Set this to a loop. Set this to eleven hundred. It'll automatically scoop eleven hundred. Hang on, real quick. Let me make sure you guys can view this. I don't know if my thing's sharing. So hang on, real quick. There we go. You guys should be able to see GIMP now. And all I've done here. Let's go back. It opened. And it opened like this, and then I just went to image, scale image. I set this to 1100, and I made sure it was set to 72 DPI. I scaled it, I exported it. Again, that's file, export as, and I'm just gonna add to the end of the title of this image, scaled 1100. Make sure that it's set to JPEG or PNG and then click export. You can set the quality to about 98. You click export. Let's minimize it and let's take a look real quick at the size. So we started with a five megabyte image. We exported it to downloads and it's refreshing our screen. It's still thinking and where's our image? Okay, so I scrolled down and I located our image, Mission Trip San Salvador Scale. Now if we select this, it tells us a bunch of data on the right-hand side, but really the only data we need to see is 
It started as a five megabyte image, and now it's a 600 kilobyte image. Not as small as I wanted it, but much smaller. You could theoretically upload this and your web page performance would be much better, or you could shrink it down even a little bit more. And let's just call it 600. Let's scale it. And that's the actual size of it right there. File, export as, and let's call this 600. Let's export it. Let's export it. Let's minimize this. This should refresh here. Here we go. And lo and behold, this one is 200 kilobytes. So 600 pixels is about the half the size of most laptops and desktop screens. This picture is ready to go. It's a small image. It's much smaller than the five megabytes and that gallery will load much faster. Now, that if you have GIMP and you've downloaded GIMP for free, boom, you can use that. But what if you haven't used GIMP? Let me actually pull up a service that you could use uh, to use uh, to shrink and optimize your images really quickly. So I've brought up a service called tinypng.com. It's a super simple service. Uh, looks like the Panda. It's tinypng.com. You simply click this to select the image you want to optimize. In this case, we were using the missionary couple, and this is a five or 4.8 megabyte file. It's uploading it and it should automatically be compressing it. There it is right there, compressing. And you can really only do about 20 images at a time. And this is a big one, so it's taken a second. So it took a quick second and it's ready to download and you see it made it about 500 kilobytes. Again, it's about one tenth the size it originally was. It's a little bit bigger than the 300K I recommend, but it's ready to download, boom, click download. And lo and behold, you've got your image compressed through a service called Tiny PNG. Much easier than GIMP if you're not used to GIMP and don't know how to use that, use Tiny PNG. Every photo you upload to your website should be compressed. This is why you'll see billables if you give us 20 images and we have to do all the compression stuff, you might rack up a few hours, but that might be easier to pay our team to do that than it is to figure out how to use these services, but tinypng.com should help you a ton in cutting down the bulk of the fat on images that are too large. That's it. You just upload it to your media file and you're ready to rock. Thanks, you guys. If you have any questions, just like Orbis, feel free to ask and we'll get those answered for you. Have a great day.